Hey guys, what's going on? Luke here back with a brand new video. Today I have something very fun. So I do a lot of shopping on eBay as it's a great place to find good soccer deals, but I do see a lot of fakes. Now today I'm going to be purposely looking for five of the worst pairs of fake shoes I can find on eBay and make a video about them for you guys. Then at the end of this video I'll run a poll in the comments for which pair of these shoes you want me to buy. I'll go through, take a look, and I'll end up buying one of these shoes and making a test and review video here on YouTube. Let's get right into it. First things first, we're going to head over to eBay and type in soccer cleats. And I honestly don't think it'll take too long to find the first pair of fakes because there are a pretty good number of them on this site. Also, real quick, I want to add, I am doing these from number 5 to 1, but it is in no particular order. It's just to divide them up. These are the plus 11 soccer cleat. You may notice it looks like it has a Nike sign, but it actually does not. It goes all the way around instead of just being on one side. That's because they don't have the licensing of Nike and this has to be a different logo than what they use on Nike cleats. So they'll give it the appearance of having a Nike logo and putting it all the way around the shoe. When in reality, it is a totally different shoe, not made by anyone at all like Nike. There's also an extremely high amount of colorways for these, which is pretty interesting, including what looks like Vapor 11 models. And then these right here, which are probably the ugliest of the bunch. I honestly have no idea what that colorway is. It looks like a failed Savage Beauty. Also, good news for me is they do actually have my size. I do actually own a pair of the Superfly 5s, and as you can see, they are nothing alike at all. One area where these are especially bad are in the heel. The fake pair looks like it has an external heel cup, which is a cheap plastic, where the Superfly really doesn't have anything like that. It's pretty much all internal. Alright, now let's get back to those fakes. So they come in at only $30 US, which is actually pretty good. But what is actually kind of sad is that 286 pairs of these have been sold in the past, and I'm thinking what that means is people will get caught up, they'll say, hey, I'm interested in a pair of these, and they'll show them a picture of the shoe, and then they go on eBay and they see these, and the person doesn't know anything about cleats, so they end up buying them. And that's why this whole thing kind of frustrates me. As I said before, these aren't too hard to come by on eBay, so I'll scroll down a little bit, and there you go. These look like a really bad pair of messy 15.1s. You know it's not a good fake when the picture they put on the thumbnail is not even an actual colorway. Also come in other colorways though, these three colorways right here are all actually authentic. I did have a pair of the black ones, which I actually found at Marshalls, and I have a pair of those green ones. One thing real quick I want to point out is the quality of that cage on the upper part of the shoe. It looks really poor and not really anything like the actual Messi 15.1. Good news though, these actually do come in my size, a 9.5 US, and they're only priced at a very specific $32.69. Here's another pair. These are a pretty obvious Ace 17.1 indoor knockoff. They look exactly like that launch colorway but with one distinct difference you're gonna notice they have four stripes. And even though I wanna hate, these product photos actually aren't that bad. They're pretty good quality and they make the shoe look not 100% awful. And again, these are priced at the low, low price of only $29.99. These are taking a little bit longer to find, but oh, all right, there we go, we got it. So these are a fake pair of the X 15.1s I am going to say though, this is probably the one that shares the closest likeness to the actual shoe. So again, I said they couldn't use the licensing of brands like Adidas. This company went ahead and did something and they made the Adesi. So they, they literally just changed around the spelling of the word Adidas. They also added a guy kicking a soccer ball on top, which I believe actually is the David Beckham logo. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like it. If you were to look at a picture of these side by side with an actual stock photo of X's and you didn't really know what you were shopping for, that would absolutely fool you. And that's, again, why I said it frustrated me, because this can easily fool people into wasting their money on low quality pairs of shoes. Now, I'm gonna scroll down, because I'm assuming in the similar listings category, there will be some other fakes just like this. Yep, there you go. Two more pairs of really fake Mercurial Superfly 5s, but I'm actually not going to click on those because the first pair I showed you was a fake pair of Superflies, so instead I'm going to click on these really poor Hypervenom 1 knockoffs. I'm going to assume that that Nike logo is just like the first pair. It's going to go all the way across, kind of like a horseshoe. Let's see if I can find that real quick. 
Yeah, yeah, so it's it's the same, it's the same deal. It goes all the way across just like the other pair. This colorway kind of looks a little bit like a Magista Over 1 in that launch colorway. And what's actually pretty funny is the sole plate on these is exactly the same as an old F50 model a few years ago. So they're actually kind of crossing brands here, putting the F50 sole plate onto the Hyper Venom Fake. And lastly, they give us a gold rendition looking like the Sono Dorado Hyper Venom 1 made for Neymar in the 2014 World Cup. These actually only come in at $21.27, so they're ridiculously cheap. And they also offer 30 day returns, which I can kind of respect because if you do buy these and you see that they're fake and you didn't expect them to be, then you have the opportunity to return them. So that's not a bad thing that they do there. There you guys have it. There are five of the worst fake soccer cleats on eBay. Again, I am doing a poll in the comment section down below. Where you guys can vote on which pair of these shoes you want me to buy and review. This video was actually very fun to make. I love taking a look at fake shoes and just seeing some of the stuff that they do, like changing the branding up from three stripes to four stripes or that Nike logo that goes all the way around the shoe. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Luke, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.